Sorry, I'm not. My, my Gregorian chanting not really up to standards. Welcome back to Duke Labaguette and his fantastical adventures across France. And last episode, of course, the Holy Land. This dude is quickly turning into one of my favorite CK2 characters. And I feel it's almost because we've played him in a very particular way. You know, a very um, saintly man who I was kind of thought he was a bit of a bad guy. But then it kind of dawned on me last episode. He's just a Robin Hood type guy. Stealing from the rich. Given to the poor, he's built two churches, he's donated a load to charity, and he is a charitable man, as it says there. I think he's going to be a saint. I genuinely think he, I, I genuinely think we'll hit it. 3,000 piety. We've got all of the, the, the relevant ones. Look at this. All, all of the uh, relevant, what are they called? Virtues? That's the word. Saintly, you see. Humble. Brave. Brave isn't one, but it should be. Uh, patient. Charitable. Diligent. And, of course, the brave symbol. Not many people can see this. It's a dude fighting a dragon. Who do we know famously who fought a dragon? That's right, St. George. I was trying to think of, a, uh, of, a, of like, a, I don't know, fucking Jon Snow or something, but obviously Jon Snow hasn't fought a dragon. I genuinely could not think of a single fancy guy who'd fought a dragon. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Let's get to work, team. So what happened last episode? Well, we pushed our claims on um, everywhere, and then that big shit, our liege, Ki Queen, I was going to call her King then, King Agatha the Evil of France, Pushed round piece. I'm incredibly annoyed by that. Like, really livid. Oh my god, look at her husband. Oh. Oh, you poor thing. That's actually disgusting. Can we still embezzle from her is the real question. No? Are we already embezzling from her? No? Oh god, this is bad. Um. Now that's interesting. The Pope will give us an invasion Cassus Belli against the Holy Roman Empire. Um. Interesting, but not something we're going to do. We can also grab Sicily and we can also grab Castile. I assume we'll just say yes to all of these. Right, okay. So because we're such a pious, saintly dude, we do have access to all of those varying things. Um, do we want to set up the College of Cardinals at all? Try and put our own preferatus on the... Or try and put our own bishop on the... Uh, the, the, the How would you describe that? The rank, the seat, the throne of preferatus? Put him, put him in line? Because that's what the preferatus is, right? It's the guy in line to the, the papacy. I don't know how you describe that. Anyway, um, we could try and put our own cardinal on the, cha the, the the council here. My best candidate is... Oh, God. We would have to spend a lot of money for this. Our best candidate, 471... Uh, I don't know what these are. Christian points. Uh, the next dude has 1,679 Jesus dollars. So... Oh, my God. How much campaign fund? Oh, we'd have to put so much money into this dude. Look at that. We'd have to... Oh, my God. We'd have to put thousands. No, we'd have to put thousands to get our dude elected. It's not worth it, my dude. It's, it's really, really not worth it. Fuck the college colonels. We won't worry about it too much. I'd rather just, obviously, bribe the Pope himself. We could send him, you know, 200 gold there and get his opinion by 52. We can get the own, the regular current Pope in our pocket and ignore the whole college cardinal system. Um, yeah, that's fine. It's good to know that we do have invasions on, obviously, the HRE, Sicily, and that type of thing. But I don't think it's going to be relevant for a while. We need to build up our realm. We've got enough money to do so. Let's actually start work on turning France into an absolute powerhouse, or specifically Paris, I should say. What's the first thing we need to do then? We are currently building castle walls. Let's untake. Let's just let some time go. Oh, shit. We can get the trait theologian. Oh, my God. I mean, is that not the most papal thing you've... Papal? Saintly thing you've ever seen? Oh, it's got to be a guarantee at this point, right? Surely we've got to get it. I have no idea how the system works, but I... I Zealous as well. I'm actually a little bit blown away by how crazy this is. The Pope has got to love us. Pope. Pope, do you love me? Pope does love me quite a lot now, huh? Insulted, asked for claim, a hey, fuck off. That's only because we turned up to the war, you know, a, an hour or two late there. We are... I think we're in line. I think it's got to happen, huh? I, I, I honestly can't think of a reason why we wouldn't become a saint at this stage. Oh. That's very cool. Great Duke La Baguette. I and a powerful group of loyalists to pre present an ultimatum to the usurper, Baldwin, Baldwin, B however you say that, of Flanders, demanding your rule over Flanders. Wish us luck. Wait, so there are... Oh, it's just a glory faction of 2,000 men. This could get ugly. He surrendered it? He actually just straight up surrendered it. Uh, seriously? So what do we have? No way. Uh, d uh, sorry, I'm a little bit blown away by... It turns out all this time I just need to be a good Catholic and I could just win CK2 instantly. That's insane. Anyway, this is uh, this is an interesting event that I don't actually recognize. An invitation. My lord, we've received an invitation to the great monastery of Cluny. It could, that's got to be in Scotland somewhere, right? 
It's got a, it could make for a most interesting journey. Colony Abbey has grown to the great prominence since it was given independence by the Duke of Burgundy. I guess not. Subject now only to the Pope and supported by extensive lands as well as generous donations. It's a great center of wealth and learning. A wonderful opportunity. Let's go. Colony Abbey. Do we want to gain 20% chance of gaining one stewardship, one learning, one intrigue, or I've come here to pray? Obviously, we've got to go for that one. I think there's, there's no way in how we can't become a saint. Do we... Oh my god, look at how powerful we are. We we are second, I would say, only to Aquitaine at this stage. In fact, let's go to the realm tree and see what sort of standing we have in France. Oh god, you ended up being quite ugly, huh? Um, right, realm tree. Not that it matters, of course. You know, she, she's, a, she's a queen in her own right, regardless of how her face looks. But that is fairly tragic. Um, where's realm tree, then, my dude? Uh, where have you... Yeah, but where's realm tree? Oh, for the love of god, where have they hidden it? Hang on, let me, let me, let me find it. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea where Realm Tree is. I feel like they've almost taken it out intentionally to uh, obfuscate information, but I, I really have no idea. I wanted to find out who the most powerful vassal was in, in France. I imagine, yeah, look at this. Uh, let's sort by vassal rank here. Duke of Aquitaine, and then it's us. So I, I think we are definitely second in place here. Aquitaine have a total men of 9,300. We have 2,400, but that doesn't include the land that we've obviously inherited, and our levies are barely reinforced at all. That's so cool that they just sent in this, uh, oh, what do we want to go for? Except for as long as he likes. Why not? We'll be a friendly, good old saint boy. There we go. We got some piety. We're magnanimous. This is an insane power growth with one character. Like, this is a lot of land we've grabbed here, huh? Not only that, but we get a lot of sway in France now, being the second most powerful vassal here. What do we want to do without all of this power that we've got? Well, we are part of... What, what are we part of? Are we even part of any faction? I don't think we are, are we? Um, oh, we're the head of the court faction. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. That puts us in a very, very powerful position then. Okay, awesome. We can also make the Duchy of Artois, which I'm going to do to make us a... What is that? A, a quadruple duke now? Oh, we're still only a triple duke. Oh, yeah, because I forgot. We haven't actually pushed our claims on this one yet. We will go for that one round pieces over 48 months. I don't think we're going to be able to grab it, but we, we will try, obviously, with our next character. If we push it in war, we get to keep it anyway, but I think we're honestly going to die before round piece disappears. Not that I can complain. Look at this power base we've built up here, then. So we actually do need to focus on, uh, you know, building up our own domain a little bit more as well. Let's go back to France. I'm going to rename Melun to uh, Paris so that I can, uh, or at least I, at least I would. I would, but apparently we can't anymore. Okay, fair enough. I did want to re rename that one. That's fine. Um... Not to worry. So, let's go for keep. Levy size plus 10%. We've got to make ourselves much more powerful. Now's the time we really want to start building up. I mean, this is just a nice event, right? My daughter, Duchess Francois, who is obviously a, a duke in the... Oh my god. That is an incredible portrait. She's got the helmet on, she's got the pigtails, and she's also got the headdress. That's awesome. Um, she wants us to spend some time with our son, Toot, as our heir, who's also a fairly good character, I'd like to point out. Why not? That sounds nice. I'm absolutely fine with that. Now, I would like to know if any of you guys know this. If you could let me know, it'd be great. How to level up the diplomat trait. Because, obviously, I don't think there's much chance of us leveling up the, the, the actual education. This trait, though, has multiple levels. Same with uh, the fighter trait. So, if I knew how to level this up, I think it'd be very, very valuable for this guy. Because he's fairly... For a guy who's, like, genius, tall, uh, you know, all of that crap, he's actually got fairly lackluster stats, all things considered. And his education is a massive letdown. Um, probably because, obviously, we pissed off to China for two years. So if I could find out to level that up and actually get some, some more control over this character and specialise him in diplomacy, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be able to keep what we've got together. We shall donate to charity. Of course. God's blessings upon... My, my guy. My guy, what happened? Why is he covered in blood? I won't question it. I only did my duty, Conversus. Gain 100 devotion and plus one month of piety. I want to get up to the highest rank. We want to get up to Conversus ourselves before we finish things off here. Um, we can't actually become a paragon if we're trying to become a saint, can we? Oh, how's the trait paragon? Oh, so we just have to... So, so becoming a paragon, you know, fulfills the become a saint. I have no idea what makes us a true Christian knight. We have become Galahad. This is so cool. That's that's because we have Brave and a combination of other things as well. That's awesome. My god. We've got to become a saint. I find it... I would I would be... I think it's going to be impossible not to become a saint at this stage, right? I would just be completely shocked if we didn't. Given everything. Like, what more would you need to do? We've dedicated our whole lives to Catholicism. We're, we're zealous, you know. Theologian. We've got half of the friggin... Or almost... What was that? One, two, three, four. Okay, we have four out of the seven. So, just over half of the virtues there. Along with just being a great character. 3,100 piety. He wouldn't love it. Let's go drinking. And we become friends with another dude instead. 
Ah, now ambitious is apparently not correct for a Catholic. I guess we should be content. We shall make the attempt to lose it. Not good for the realm, but of course, good for our future standing as a saint. Good for our son. Seclude myself in prayer and meditation. Let's see what we can do. Come on, kick it. Or get one of the other virtues would be fantastic. 20% chance of going to take temperate. Okay, we didn't quite get it. We failed at the opportunity to lose ambitious. Became depressed. Honestly, that's fine. To be sad over being ambitious, that I, th I think I think that's a fairly, you know, what what's the word for it? Um, that is very introspective, I'd say. So we need to build ourselves a minor noble district, at which point we can then build a wooden castle. That allows us to build the castle domicile, and then we can start building up all of these buildings that give us our little stat boost, similar to, obviously, the... Uh, the Merchant Republic house. Now, interesting within the next upgrade, we actually might not need that because apparently Paradox are adding your own sort of personal palace along with Wonders as well. I think that upgrade is going to be great for my particular playstyle. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. But for now, obviously, we've got to stick to using, you know, Floggies, that type of thing. Don't get me wrong. I really like Floggies tech mod. Man, that's a tax malice of 1.5. The whole point of this is you build a poor district, a citizen district, and then a noble district. The poor district and the citizen district bring in more taxes than what you spend on the noble, but it's to keep it balanced, you know? So we are going to lose some taxes there, but we are going to gain it from building the next level, if that makes sense. Oh, shit. Uh... Okay. In dedication to the true Catholic faith cannot be done from a throne. If you are to be truly saintly, you must retreat to a monastery and take the vows to serve God. We have to become a monk. We have to give up everything. We have to... Okay, so essentially we're just going to give everything to our son, which is fine. Um, we're going to abdicate, gain one learning, and piss off. And then when he dies, I'm... I'm, I'm you know, it's guaranteed. It's, it, it's got to be guaranteed. Nine times percent sure he's, he's going to become a saint at this stage. Let's do it. Is it time to abdicate too? Is there anything else we want to do? Um, I assume he gets all the money, right? Apparently not. I'm going to send him the money just in case. Uh, yeah, have some, have all the gold, my friend. Because I really don't want to lose that. Uh, yeah, you take, you take this one. You, you take all of these. There you go, my friend. You just take this, just in case. I'm sure it will send in the money, but just in case. He's inheriting the title. The, the money stays with the title, not with the character. But again, just in case. Our heir, Elaine Carling. Our nephew. Is that our, oh shit, our sister's son. It won't matter too much. Is he in line to her titles? Interesting. So we could actually inherit land from uh, Accra there. So we could inherit that if we play as this kid. And we'd inherit, obviously, everything we've got in France as well. That could be interesting. Anyway, we are now Toot Carling. Goodbye. Our father, brother La Baguette. Good luck. Good luck with your with your journey into sainthood, my friend. It does seem a bit odd that you would have to lose ambitious, even though he wants to become a saint, which I'd argue is incredibly ambitious. Like, almost very self-serving in a way, you know? Anyway, let's, let's, let's overlook the, uh, let's have a look the minutiae of that. What do we want to do with this dude? Well, I think first things first. Actually, what do we want to do with this dude? I'm not entirely sure. Rulership? Rulership might be a bad start. He is content, which is a little shitty. Um, you know, actually, it's not too bad in this one, is it, huh? Stewardship plus two, health plus 0 0.5, vassal opinion, liege opinion. That's actually not too terrible. Okay, let's go family folks. start off with, get ourselves an heir, because I'm, I'm not really interested in playing the Holy Land. I do like the idea of uh, a branch house of the family in the Holy Land in Jerusalem. I think that's a much more cool narrative that that's set up there. Let's uh, get married. There is a uh, an ambition to do that, which obviously, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're taking out of the base game now, right? I have no idea. I never play the base game. Toot, let's see who you can get married to in, oh god, there's no one. Okay, right, let's, let's go shop around for a wife for a bit. So we're looking for anybody with, obviously, those incredibly good... Uh, education traits. We're looking for any prodigies. Pro when you're ready, game. Sorry, it's very, very slow. I am, I am typing. I promise you. There we go. Prodigy. We want to look for filter one here and see who we can find. Oh, there are some. This is good news. Oh, she's the oldest though. Adelaide courtier in whatever that is. Uh, she is French. She's a lowborn as well, so she is very likely to marry us. Um, she's tense. We'd be waiting at least six years, but she's got that prodigy trait. Six in everything. We're genius. I think that gives our child a very, very strong chance of coming out a good character just by its its genetics. We're going to go for that. Arrange betrothal. Her to us. They're going to say yes because obviously we're, we're one of the most high-born, most powerful lords in the whole of France now. So naturally, they are going to go for that one. Thank you very much. So what's our realm looking like? Uh, our borders are nice. I would like to grab... Oh, shit. Were they... No, they weren't taking... I keep thinking it's every single time because they're the same color as the HRE. If we could grab these two... 
They're on our borders, and obviously, you know, there's no reason not to grab it, right? So let's start fabricating clones on those. We're going to set up the council again, but that shouldn't be too difficult. We had some good councillors kicking around. Now, we still have our Carlian blood, so we're still going to get our good martial characters. If our father dies, then we'll attract good theologians as well and becomes a saint naturally, but I think that's, that's just part of the course at this stage. Study taking the Byzantine Empire, I think, is probably not a bad plan. Um, we will go for Constantinople, despite the fact that apparently they're moving their capital around. I mean, it's the Byzantine Empire. They move their capital every five minutes. Train troops in Paris is a good plan. Let's collect some taxes and let's, um, I guess, improve relations with the Pope. Seems like a fairly, uh, you know, stringent thing to do as a Catholic there. That's not the right word. Seems like a particularly diligent thing to do as a Catholic. Minor titles, I will set these up very, very quickly. Oh, they're, they're basically all done anyway. Not to worry about. One loyalist, two theologians, two pragmatist. It's not a bad council composition, to be honest with you. Righteous imprisonment against some guys here. Um, is, it, is it anything particularly worth worrying about? Somebody wants to take revenge on us. Okay, that one is worth worrying about. So let's, uh... Won't even end plot. What have we done to this dude? I have no idea. I have no idea. Friends with his father, though. That is obviously quite a nice little bonus there. With our previous character, it's kind of nice to see. Um, oh, apparently when you get betrothed, you lose the... Um, you lose the ambition to get married. Unless it fulfills it, but I don't think it will. Anyway, develop personal combat skills. Probably not a bad plan. Pledge peace to my vassals. Change promises culture. Uh, what do we want to start off with here? Increase size of domain, threat of four, we could. We actually genuinely could because there's no reason not to in this scenario. Let's do that. Uh, intrigue of nine. I was going to say we could obviously plot to revoke something, but I don't think we'll be particularly successful with that. Um, what do you want to take? What, what's sort of uh, the standard Parisian? We could take... Okay, let's go by economy map mode here. I mean, any of these would be pretty good. I'm going to try and take this one. Vexin, Francois, Francais... However you say it, it doesn't matter. We're going to try and grab that one. So let's plot to revoke that. Now we may be able to... Oh, we should be able to do this fairly safely, I think. There we go. That's what we're looking at. Oh. Oh, the temple finished construction. God damn it. Okay, fine. I mean, that's, that's kind of solved that issue. Um, but I'm still going to try and revoke this anyway, because obviously we've got a spare domain slot there. Plus, these people are up for it. My Chancellor, Comte Garard, kindly suggests it would be of benefit to the if I studied the languages spoken at foreign courts. I agree thoroughly. This is a great event. Obviously, there's a chance to get intelligent out of this, so definitely worthwhile. We'll join this dude's faction. Why not? Absolutely no reason not to. She wants us to be here, her steward. Interesting. That's pretty useful. Um, press some vague promises. Nothing to worry about there. Okay, so how's this plot looking? 107%. Not too great. Um, so anyone with a significant amount of plot power there are, but is it, are they worth uh, 87 gold? I think we'll leave it at that. We'll see how that goes. And obviously... You know, that will be our little bonus. Oh, shit, you can't do it if they've enforced peace. Really? 35 months. We're going to wait three years for this plot to fire regardless. Yeah, that'll, that'll be okay. Let's develop personal combat skills. We might as well start building this guy up into a decent character before we get a little ambitious. With it. I like doing that, you know. Early character uh, or, or a young character during CK2. Build them up quite significantly during their sort of... Um, you know, their middle ages, sort of like 30, 40, 50 years of age. That's where you want to do all your personal wars. And then towards the end of their life, start building up their areas. Just generally my own uh, personal play style. Someone's trying to poison us. Ah, okay. Um, we're going to try and convince our father to help us stop the poisoner, whoever they happen to be. Please, for the love of God, help me. I don't want to die. The cook didn't intend to poison me. He's just a shitty, shitty steward. Uh, sh shitty steward, shitty cook. We did get one intrigue from it, though. So that was definitely worthwhile. Anything to help out our own crappy... Oh, nice, we can compose a book. Oh, my God, 149 gold, though. Um, We're still building up Paris, so I guess there's no reason not to, huh? Intricacies of a realm. Managing a realm. Let's, let's go for it. If we get how to build a well, then our realm is going to expand incredibly quickly. What have we got equipped right now? Economic principle. Confessions of brother love I get is minus 20% fertility. We might as well keep that equipped until we're married, I guess. Definitely couldn't hurt. We've still got our seamless robes of Jesus. We've still got our figurine, our saint's finger bone. What about China? What can we do with those guys right now? Could we go kowtow? We might as well do it early. And obviously, if the trait ends up being good, then we're going to get a lot more bonuses out of it. So why not? Let's do it early. Let's get going. And obviously, we might also get some artifacts out of that. And obviously, getting those early again is going to help out more in the long term. Renew Jihad. He died. He's gone. Goodbye, Labaget. One of my favorite characters in CK2, without a shadow of a doubt. I, I think his character art was incredible. Like, a simple man... Ended up being one of the most pious and best Catholics I would say that's ever lived. That was a, that was a really fun character to play as. Speaking of which, is it a convenience, a, a convenience, a coincidence that as he died, jihad were renewed? Maybe he was the only thing stopping the unstemmable tide of Islam there. 
Interesting. Maybe they were scared of Brother Labagger. Anyway, disturbing news nonetheless. Wonderful. Some tech points. That's really great to hear. Thank you very much. It'd be a real shame if you were to disappear in the Byzantine Empire. Um, let's get on with the meeting. We're not going to do anything particularly ambitious right now. We're just about to leave for China, so I don't really care that much. All right, here's a follow-up to our language event. Then we've got 15% chance of gaining diligent, 30% chance of gaining stressed, but you can get both, or obviously we can get neither here. We did get neither, which is a little bit unfortunate, because that's the whole reason we do that event. Okay, do we want to pay 75 gold to this guy to get some bodyguard, or we can say goodbye? Um, and that lasts for three years. It's really not worth it, is it? Absolutely not. We'll, we'll, st we'll stick with how things are going. I imagine there's a downside to that. Maybe you can be attacked with bandits on the way to China. Oh. Oh, God. We're, te we're going for further crusades. Interesting. Oh, my God. It's going to happen again. We've gone to China, and now they're launching more crusades. It's unfortunate timing, because obviously we, if we commit to it, we'll have the same thing that happened last time when we insulted the Pope. But, hey. Um, our caravan has been camped by the roadside the whole day. This guy's been pouring over us. We are lighting incense in honor of our father. Come on, Pope. Pope, if you could... Oh, okay. Plot and cover doesn't matter too much. Pope, you've got to, you've got to be able to fight our father. We've got to go for St. Labaguette here. This dude again. This dude again. Grafo Karl the Hammer. So this is Karl Karling's... Yep, Charlemagne's grandfather. Um... It's, it's always this dude. Emulating a legend. Game of the trait gluttonous. I don't want to emulate this guy. I would rather emulate, you know, Kaiser Karl the Great of the Holy Roman Empire. Diligent and zealous. He'd be a much better ancestor. What is wrong with you? I should make my own fate. Paris prospers. That's good for the realm. Now, how are we looking at... Oh, send a fucking letter to my mother. Whatever. Sure. How are we doing in terms of Paris? What can we build next? And we do want to save up for the next level of castle. 328 gold. Oof. That's expensive. We are collecting taxes. We could always take out a loan. Is it worth it, though? Borrow 300 gold? That would let us build it. Mm. I don't know. That's that's a bit debatable. I'm not too concerned about that. Could imprison some vassals. Oh, my God. He's got so much money in prison. Him. Oh, raise the flag on rebellion. Well, uh, it's worth a go because now we can just uh, branch them out anyway. I'm only doing it for the gold. We might as well do something while we're off in China, right? Okay, raise the troops. This should be a fairly easy... Wait, what? Did he? Oh, round pieces enforced. Can we just keep doing that? Oh, that seems a little bit... I was going to say that seems a little bit uh, abusable if that's the case. Uh, Enforce demands. Brown piece. Seriously? So we can just keep doing this until eventually we win. Well, that seems a little abusable. Okay, fine. Absolutely fine with that. What are they going to do? Go into rebellion? I don't think so. No, no. Not allowed, my friend. Not allowed. Would it be an episode of CK2 if we didn't find some way to abuse game mechanics? Well, last episode or the episode before that, we embezzled so many times... That uh, I thought we were going to bankrupt the whole of France. This episode, everyone has to go to prison. They have no choice but to go to prison. Well, that worked out incredibly well, huh? Round piece. You know what? I forgive you for earlier. Well, I don't entirely forgive you, but I, it's a start. 141 gold. I'll take it. Thank you. That's almost enough to obviously build our next level of the uh, of the castle there. Incredible. Right. Uh, who else do we want to obviously ransom everyone else? Oh, shit. We actually might get enough. Student language removed because we have imprisoned him. Classic. Very, very good. Nice work. Ah. Wonder when that was going to happen. Jihad for Jerusalem. Not much of a shocker. Are we going to be joining against that? I mean, a low burger obligation. Sure, whatever. I don't care about that too much. Uh, hopefully, we can get back from China in time to join this one. That would that would be kind of good if we could obviously get the Crusader trait this time around, seeing as we missed on it last time. Declared French war. Oh, French anti-papal war. He's established. I didn't even realize there was an anti-pope, to be honest with you. There he is. The Pope in Mainz, Theodorus Third. I mean, that. Um, surely we can win this one, right? 10,000 versus 14,000. It's going to be close, but it is possible. Because obviously the Pope is going to support the war to end the papacy. So it, it could be possible. Right. Um, what do we want to do then? Do you want to reflect wellness in the eyes of the Emperor? Or do you want to try and get impatient and humble? This character's okay, but he could be much, much better, couldn't he? Neither. Oh, we, wait. We already had patient, didn't we? Oh, well, that was probably not worth it then in hindsight. It doesn't matter too much. Honestly, I don't care too much about Kowtow to that extent. Mostly it's about this. This is what I was ready here for. We added a G. G is very good. A weapon is great because I believe we didn't have a weapon. Oh, we had a Crusader sword. Nowhere near as good as the G, I'm assume, assuming. Personal combat skill, 8. That one gives martial plus... Yeah, this is better. Yeah, that's, that's much, much better. Get rid of our Crusader sword as well. Obviously, we could just give that away as a gift to someone to try and, uh, you know, lure them over to our side. New roads. Local build cost, minus 15%. Or oh, build cost modifier, I should say, minus 15%. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's obviously worth it. 12.8 gold for that is massive. A righteous imprisonment, you say? Oh, he's raised his flag in rebellion. What a shame that would be if you had to instantly concede his war. Oh. Wait, what? Uh, what? Did round piece just end? Seven. 
Uh, I feel like I've been... Round piece. Round piece is enforced. Ah. Uh, well, it doesn't matter too much. Like I said, we can always just trick him and press him and ransom him off anyway. So it's not that much of a big deal. He does have almost the same amount of troops of us, though, which is a little bit worrying. We've inherited... Oh, we inherited that anyway. Oh, that's incredible. So when we get... We succeeded with the plot. Okay, that doesn't seem right. When we get home... No way do we get the highest level trait. The Emperor reached out and touches my forehead. Holy shit. Kowtow. The Emperor was greatly impressed. That's absolutely insane. Especially as we didn't bother doing any of the events to obviously gain the extra favor. Holy shit, I'm so impressed with that. Anyway, um, now we can raise some more troops, of course, because we got that other county, and this war should end fairly easily. Did you just hire men? Did you see that? Did you just hire troops? That's not, that's, that's not, that's not good warfare. That's not fair at all. Now we're going to have to hire troops as well. Firstly, before we do that, I will start building this early wooden castle, and with whatever change we've got, we'll hire mercenaries. Um, oh, can, can we actually, we can just, uh, 15 gold per month, 98 gold up front. That means we can only have them for a month. Probably not worth it. It's not by cost. Um, we need some cheap boys. The Lombard Band, 400 men. Um, yeah, that'll do. The Irish Band, welcome aboard. That gives us 7,200 men. We should be able to crush him very, very easily now. Right, most of the units. 43 gold. So we've got them for a good few months yet. We've still got our good commanders as well, so nothing to worry about there. Let's head over. What's happening with the Crusade, though, my dude? We we going to do anything about that? Hey, Pope, are we gonna we going to try and stop this, my friend? I suppose because of the whole anti-papacy war, that's probably taken... Yeah, that's taken precedent. God damn it. Okay, well, we might help out with that in a second. First things first, we've got to deal with our own uh, not actually enforced round piece, round piece war here. Anyway, this should be that one done. Oh, god damn it. I don't want to lose the last fall. 20% chance. Okay, that's good. Oh, I didn't want to lose the last one, but I also didn't want to piss off our wife because of, you know, prodigy. It's just so big, I can't afford to miss out on that. That was a risky attack, I will admit, but we are fine. Absolutely, 100% fine. Um, oh, shattered retreat, hilarious. Remind me to turn that off before next episode, because I hate it. I think it's so, so dumb. He's my new court chaplain, goodbye. Um, oh yeah, we'll, we'll have this done in no time. Easy, easy war all round. That was very close. My lord, Raoul sends word that his enemies found at do do i i i <laughs> request instructions as to whether or not they should be brought to your attention. Does Commander Raoul take only their leader? They were just about to take Paris as well. Look at that. Oh man, okay, we'd have actually had like 20 more days because they only just had enough morale left to hold out. Take them all as prisoner. Take their leader and execute the rest. Oh. Oh. No, we'll just take only their leader. That seems fine. 80... 81%? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Ah. Uh... Yeah, why not? Why did God make us curious? Fuck it, why not? I haven't played in the Satanic Society for a very, very long time. I would keep it in. Thank you, Burnout. Let's go for it. You're truly a witch, then. Can you do something about my rival? Game the trait fever? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Headache? Abdominal fame? Fever? Um. What could that be? It's not good, whatever it is. Oh, man, they actually managed to siege Paris. Like, get out of here. Uh, the lights meant to hold us back. Or we can gain greedy. I'll take greedy. Why not? We've played as a saint. Why not flip tactic and play as just the worst guy who's ever lived? The evil tyrant. Duke Toot. I can't believe they haven't made a father a saint as well. I know it takes some time. So, fingers crossed we'll get it, you know, relatively soon. Okay, take out their army. Take out the capital. It's the flu. Okay, nothing to worry about then. Absolutely fine. As long as you know what you're doing, no need to risk it. Health plus two. Absolutely fine. Bargain must be struck. Ah. Okay, we were just betrayed by mercenaries, but we're going to kill them all anyway. That's what you get. That is what you get, my friend. 100% war score. Thank you very much. Problem solved. Well, that was fun. Okay. Oh, we have the option to hold a tradition faction meeting. Apparently, we're the head of the tradition faction. Sure. Why the hell not? I just bit my tongue. Ow. Ow. Toot. Save me. Ah. Um, right, who are our prisoners then? Let's see. I, all I wanted to do was ransom you off anyway. 70 gold. Fine. Gets out of debt. Can't claim about that too much. Although it did cost us like 144 mercenaries. I'm not a good steward, apparently. Anyway, it doesn't matter too much. Nice. I mean, the realm has expanded a lot. I, I just hope to hell next episode we hear about two. Oh my god, my mother's in prison. Well, I'm not going to bother ransoming her back. Honestly, you know what? She's had her day. That's fine. Uh, what happened to her neck? What, was she like bitten by a vampire? What was that? Do you see that? She's been attacked by a vampire, apparently. Well, it's too late for her. She can stay there then. We've lost the trait flu. Oh god. <laughs> Um, whew, that's a face only a mother could love. Uh, be on the lookout for the messenger. We might as well get this one done before we end the episode because we are running out of time here. 
You're the messenger. This lady here. This absolute absent-minded idiot. Fine. What do you need me to do? She offers no reply. But she leads us to a bed. I wonder what it could be. Maybe it's a party. It's apparently... Well, it's, it's a hell of a party. Wish you'd found me sooner. Budding romance, budding friendship, whatever. That's fine. We're in, boys. I think this is going to be uh, an interesting twist on the classic... Oh, shit. Is that the spawn of Satan? No, no, no. This is just the... Just the head of the guild. Okay, fine. I thought we actually had a spawn of Satan then. Right. Well. Uh, how about that for a flipper tactic, huh? Best Catholic to now the best Satan boy. This could be interesting. Again, I've not played a Lucifer's Own since before they nerfed it um, after Rajas of India. So I'm not entirely sure how it plays these days. Might be horrible, at which point we'll go to a different society. Maybe Hermetics. I mean, Hermetics will probably be just be infinitely better anyway. But I want to see how this plays. Thank you all for watching. We're going to leave that one there today. F's in chat, please, for Brother Labaget the Chase 2. was honestly one of my favorite characters I think I've ever played in CK2 just because of his, like I said, incredible character arc. Went from being a, 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 a the lost, washed up, final calling to one of the most holy devout Catholics who's ever lived. If he doesn't become a saint, I'm going to be top tier triggered. And we are going to kill the Pope with dark magic to make up for it. Let's give a shout out to all of the insane top tier level patrons for the life and times of Duke Baguette for making it possible in the first place. F's in chat for the him. And thanks in chat for... Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Haydock, Sidini, Tim Bragg, Loris, Croesus, Vacuous Backers, Josh Lundin, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Mora, Jacob Alexander, Fenton, Pavis Presley, Sunakirito, Conspired C, Jimbo, Orcs Wolf, Facuno Vasquez, Tom Terror 18, Average Gamer 419, Escape, and Zazzy 7011. Thank you all for your support at the Insanity Levels on Patreon. It is much appreciated. Man, I'm, I'm really lost about, about Baguette's untimely demise. That's a real shame. But you know what? Isn't a shame. That's right, it's Nathaniel Lindbergh, Euphrates, I see the Great, Jack Allen, Wolfie, James Barnes, Batman Max, Panther Pearl, Gabriel Van Ders, Llewellyn Thomas, Nathan Flores, The Sage, Yoran Debris, Haji Dumar, Alpha Scuff, Don Quan 2 and 7, Zet McDougal, Joseph Beer, Jordan Camel, Harry McGowan, Chris, Sir Thor the Swede, Sir Death, Asero, Nick, Will Wade, Hancock, Noah Gallimore, Fraser Brennan, The Insane Pickle, and Adam Person. Thank you all for being here during the funeral of Brother Lubbergette.